back to Children's Church. It's our second week learning about communion, so our pyramids, we learned that word last week, like the tablecloth, is still white. Very cool. I'm going to light our white candle to get us started, too. And that reminds us that God is always with us, no matter what color we've covered our altar in. And by God, we are talking about, say it with me, God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All right, I think we're ready for our verse. We've practiced this one a lot. So let's stand up and do it together. Loudest voices. Do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. Do this in remembrance of me. Now we're going to enter into a moment of silent prayer. We'll let your family pause the video. Amen. Thanks for spending time in prayer with us today. Well, it's our second week of communion, which means it's our second week of supply bags. Did you get yours? If you did, great. If not, you can totally do this with stuff in your house anyway. The supply bag just makes it a tiny bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to open up my supply bag. I didn't tell you last week, there's this book in here, kind of for older kids, but everyone can use it with your family. You can use that whichever week you want. It goes with no specific week. just helps you learn a little more about communion. Okay, but this week, what's today's date? October 11th. Um, 18th. 18th. It's October 18th, so here's our supply bag. For October 18th, let's see what's inside. I have grape juice Ooh. and biscuit mix. Mm, that's going to be a lot of juice for my little cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, we remember that biscuits are a type of bread, and I did choose this mix for you guys because it's the easiest. You only have to add water. And we remember when we take communion that just like eating healthy foods helps our body grow really strong, taking the bread and the juice in remembrance of Jesus helps us be spiritually strong. It helps our souls and our hearts feel stronger to remember Jesus' love with the bread and the juice. I kind of have a question, Miss Laura. So, mm -hmm. bread and juice does help us remember that it's communion and that does make our bodies strong. But so do like cucumbers and oranges. Why do we do bread and juice every month at our church and not spice it up a little bit? I do love cucumbers and oranges, <laughs> so I'm <laughs> open to that. <laughs> We do it this way because that's what Jesus had available. It was the thing that they kind of had at every meal. It was really wine, not juice, but they're super similar. Had wine and bread at every meal. So Jesus used that as like an all the time remember me. You know how all the time you have bread, all the time you have juice, all the time remember me. And there was one special meal. Oh yeah, the Last Supper. And I think that very Last Supper right before... Easter, before mm -hmm. Jesus died and before Easter, Jesus even reminded us specifically, do this in remembrance of me, the bread and the wine or the juice. So I get it now. I'll save my cucumbers and oranges from a snack. That said, if you have something different at your house and you want to use cucumbers and oranges for <laughs> communion, however you choose to remember Jesus is a perfect way. And God loves every time that we remember his love. So how are we gonna make this bread? All right, we'll need a few things to make the bread. The first thing you need is the mix. The second thing you need is a bowl to put it in. You'll open your bag. I'm not gonna make a mess in here. You'll pour it in the bag. Then you need a half cup measuring cup. Go to your sink, get some water, pour it in. Mix it, mix it, mix it super well. Then use your baking sheet. Do you have one this big? In the <laughs> I don't. This is a church sized one. It's amazing. You probably don't need one that big. Um, and you can put either parchment paper or a little cooking spray on it so your biscuits bread doesn't stick. And then what do you think we need? I think it says to just maybe scoop out some lumps of your biscuit dough. Maybe with a spoon. Yeah, a spoon probably, spoon size. And then we probably need a grown up to help us with the oven. I bet all the directions are on there. 450 for 8 to 11 minutes. I recommend checking it at eight. Then be super careful and make sure your grown-ups are around when you get it out of the oven. And use a pot holder. How cute is this one? Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Very fun. And then some cup 
to use for your juice and maybe let your bread cool off just a tiny bit. But once you're ready to take your bread and your juice and remember Jesus' amazing love for you, you can do that with your family or with your friends or whoever's at your house. It's fun to share Jesus' love. In children's church, usually we talk about how we call this a love feast. We call it communion or the Eucharist when the pastor has consecrated the bread and the juice. That means said their special blessing over the bread and the juice. But you can take communion or have a love feast whenever you want because it's always a good time to remember Jesus' love. Always. And if you didn't get the supply bag, you can use some bread that you already have or there's some easy recipes that you can find too. I bet a grown up will help you figure out a little way to get some sort of bread or crackers or some kind of mix like that. Maybe cucumbers. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy your love feast and we'll see you next week. Bye. You're a beloved child of God. Beloved child of God. Beloved child of God. <laughs>